Pele. My name is Oliver Pele. Uh, we are the principals of uh, the multidisciplinary design company Pele. Um, we are trained architects by background. We met at the Yale School of Architecture, um, and that's where we really um, started to notice one another. And then um, we became a couple a few years later. <laughs> but um, we created Pele in 2011 uh, after we worked in the architectural field for many years. Um, then um, Jean was the first to quit her job in 2008 and then I followed in 2010 um, so that we could focus on this company and develop this company. The work that we've done is work that we were personally interested and invested in. So it's a large range of products from lighting to furniture, uh, accessories. Um, it was always based on materials and material combinations and exploration of uh, forms um, and shapes in conjunction with the materiality of the, the, the product. So um, our line our, our, our design philosophy is really based on uh, ideas of, we, we like to use the word beauty a lot, that we, it has to have a visceral relationship to us and an emotional relationship. Um, they're also very personal projects and um, they're inspired by materials that we love to work with ourselves um, and uh, forms that we are also interested um, just on an artistic level or a personal level. So that's where a lot of our products uh, start and they, um, that's where they begin. Um, so the bubble chandelier started um, in 2008 and it uh, first um, started as a do-it-yourself project um, and it gained a lot of momentum on the internet. The instructions were out there and suddenly there was a very big response from people asking to um, have the lights made by me because they couldn't put it together. Uh, it so suddenly turned into a business and it developed from a single light design which is called the original bubble chandelier which is actually that. And um, since 2008 it has turned into an entire series of lights that are different in composition, in size, uh, in shape and, and finish. And since that initial uh, assembly of materials of cotton and glass and porcelain, it's uh, integrated other components as well now. Um, we have leather cording integrated and we have these precision machine metal components, which we is very recent. It's part of our new um, line of newly launched bubble chandeliers. And um, it's just really totally evolved since um, when it first started, when the line first, um, or when that first uh, original bubble chandelier um, was created. Um, you know, initially, I think around that time, there was a lot of lights I had seen where it was very hard, like hard edge. And I think the, um, the combination of the soft, natural linen cotton rope mixed with like this very delicate glass blown globe was very interesting to me. It was a really nice uh, palette. It was also um, sourced from parts that were available, just readily available. And I was, you know, to be honest, just being very resourceful at the time and just grabbing what I thought worked together. And it turned into a, co a combination that was very, um, I think, very simple, very basic. And it was appealing that way. It was very just simple and kind of, kind of um, down to earth. I would love to be an artist, um, probably based in sculpture. That would be my thing. Another sort of dream occupation I've always um, 
had was to be a children's book writer and illustrator. I think that would be a fantastic job to have. It'd be so much. She draws fun. really well. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love that. I love uh, children's books. So. I think I would have liked to have something to do with music. I like to. I grew up playing the piano, and maybe there was a moment when I was thinking of either studying music or or architecture. Uh, but I think I, I might have gone into the music route somehow. Yeah. Something would have. I don't know exactly which route, but something like that. <laughs> what's, the, what's next for you? Vacation. No. <laughs> <laughs> 